Welcome to wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials. This video tutorial is on algebra quiz number one solutions. Question one. Simplify x minus 3 over 5 minus x minus 2 over 3. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to find the LCM of the two denominators and the LCM is the lowest number that can be divided by both 3 and 5 without leaving a remainder and that number is 15. Now we're finding the LCM we rewrite the equation so that is x minus 3 over 5 minus x minus 2 over 3 I will put that over the LCM LCM is 15 now what we do next is to divide the denominators into the LCM and multiply by the respective numerators so that is we're going to divide 15 by 5 5 is the first denominator 5 into 15 that's 3 times now we're going to multiply the 3 by the numerator which is x minus 3. Put back on minus sign, 3 into 15, that's 5 times. So write 5, I'm going to multiply that by the numerator, which is x minus 2. Now let's expand these brackets. That gives us 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times minus 3, that is minus 9. Now minus 5 times x, that is minus 5x. Minus 5 times minus 2, that is a positive 10. And that's all over 15. Now, let us simplify the numerator. So, 10, let's like like terms together, right? So we're going to put all the like terms together. That is 10 minus 9. That is plus 3x minus 5x. Right? That's all over 15. Now that is going to be equal to 10 minus 9. That is 1. 3x minus 5x. That is minus 2x. And that's over 15. And that's our solution. one minus two x over 15 is the solution okay so let's look at part two now part two asks us to simplify this equation we have two x to the fourth y to y squared plus eight x y squared minus four x cubed y now when we're adding when we're adding or subtracting terms in an equation, we only can add or subtract like terms. And a like term, what makes terms alike is the variables in the terms. Now, 4x to the 4y squared, xy squared are not same terms or same variables. That's because we don't have the same amount of x's here as we have here. So we cannot add or subtract any of these terms in this equation. If we had if we had 2x to the fourth y squared plus 8x to the fourth y squared, then we could add these two terms because both of the variables would then be the same. That is the x here and the x here will be the same and the y here and the y here will be the same. But in the case of this equation All the terms are different and since all the terms are different we cannot add or subtract any of the terms and the solution is just simply the equation that is 2x for y squared plus 8x y squared minus 4x y that is our solution because we cannot add any of the terms in the equation because they're all different or subtract them cool okay let's go on to the next question it's question two 
And question two says, given m is equal to four, n is equal to minus three, it asks us to calculate three m plus n multiplied by two m minus n. Now the first thing I will do is I'll write back the equation and substitute in four for m and minus three for n. So I would have three, where we'll have m we're going to put what, four, and that's plus where we'll have n we're going to put minus three. All that is going to be multiplied by 2, where we'll have m, we're going to put what? 4, that is minus 2. Now, let's simplify. 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is what? It's 12. And that's plus, we we'll minus 3 right here. So that's plus minus 3. Oh, that is in this bracket. And in this bracket, we have two fours, it's eight, and we have that minus two. So, let's simplify it even more. That is 12 minus three, that is nine. So we have nine right here. And in this bracket, we have eight minus two, that is six. Now, 9 times 6, that is 54, and 54 is our answer. So what we did, the first thing we did was to substitute 4 for m minus 3 for n into the equation, and then we went on and simplified it. Okay, and the answer is 54. All right, let's go on to the next question. Part B says x asterisk y is equal to 4x minus 3y. It asks us to find 6 asterisk 4. Now, this is saying that we're supposed to substitute 6 for x and 4 for y in the equation 4x minus 3y. That's what it means. That's what the asterisk here means. So, we're going to substitute 6 for x and 4 for y in this equation, 4x minus 3y. So that is equal to 4 times, or substituting for x, 6. So we'll put 6 in the bracket here. Minus 3, while we're substituting for y, or substituting 4 for y. We'll put 4 right here. And 4 times 6 is 24. 3, 4 is 12. And is equal to 12. simple what we do 6 asterisk 4 is telling us that we're supposed to substitute 6 for x and 4 for y in the equation 4x minus 3y and our answer is 12. let's go on to the next question 